Hello, welcome back to Let's Play a Vampire. I'm your host, Bring It Dawn, and I found where I think the necklace is at. Not 100% sure. Uh, for uh, Seymour Fishburne's quest. So you meet him up here. He's standing right there. If you come south, down here, there's a little area back here with a bunch of, uh, there's some barrels and like a table right here you can break through. Just sprint through them, and then you come back here. It's locked. Locked chest, and... Yeah, here's the necklace. From Seymour to my beloved mother, Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. There's a pile of bodies. I don't know what the story is with it. Yeah, I've already used my uh, vampire vision there. You've seen the red. Let's confront him about it. Good evening, Mr. Fishman. Yeah, yeah. Any chance you can help me find... The sad saint. Actually, that's confident. Really? Well, go ask someone else then. Okay. I'm a dick. I have retrieved the gift for your mother, sir. Great. Give it here then and take this for your trouble. I also found the corpses. The ones under which you left the necklace, Mr. Fishburne. Ah, so that's where I left it. I can be a bit stupid sometimes. Wait. As a man of science, I'd like to try to understand why you killed those people. Why does there need to be a reason? They were just there. It happened. That's all. You're not a mindless animal, Seymour. Surely you have something to say about these murders. Speak up and I will listen without judgment. Could be right, Dr. Reed. Maybe it'll do some good to confide in a gentleman like you. You being educated and all. Tell me about your victims, Seymour. Who were they? Why them? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times, that's all. How many? How many victims? It's not like I keep records. It happens when it happens. You feel nothing, do you? No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself, don't you? We're not talking about me. That right? Well, our calm's the only thing we have in common then. Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Stills the anger for a time. This rage you feel, have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum, I tried for her. Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. Don't you think you should seek help? Talk to someone you trust, someone who cares about you. No. And don't dare speak about me to your colleagues either. Keep your mouth shut tight, especially about my mum. Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm her son. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her, but can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. I understand your mother's situation. Obtaining justice at the price of betraying her own flesh, it's quite a dilemma. It might be my mum's wish that I end up swinging from a hangman's noose, but she wouldn't want to be the one who ties a knot round my neck. Goodbye, Mr. Fick. Huh, I wonder what I can do with that. Let's go talk to Stella. Let's see if we can follow up on like a appropriate, uh, I guess, ending to his story. Good evening, Mrs. Fishburne. May I come in, please? Of course. Just grow eyes in the back of that head, sir. Gentlemen are It's locked, all right. Someone. What can I... I'm trying to locate Mr... You talking about the one everyone calls the sad saint? The man who takes care of the homeless? The very same, Miss Fishburne. I'm sorry. 
I don't know where his shelter is, but if you ask around, I'm sure you'll get your answer. Your son's gone way beyond simply bullying people. He has a taste for blood, and you know it, don't you, Stella? One night, he told me straight up, in his own words. It was several days after one of his... episodes. Why did he confess? Did you suspect something? No. I guess he wanted his old mum to help him fight his... Uh, demons. Did Seymour tell you everything that night? More than I could stand. The words he used to describe his... hate, his rage, how he feels when he's done it. Stella, I know you are ashamed of your son's crimes. So why do you protect Seymour? I can't report my own son, can I? Not a burden I could bear. Burden? How do you mean? They'd hang him for sure. I won't send my only son to his death. I'm convinced you raised Seymour the best you could. You're not responsible for what he became. If someone ever found the courage to speak to the police, I will take my share. Tell me about these demons Seymour needs your help to fight. Seymour used to be such a happy child. And he is still a helping son most of the time. But when he gets angry, he can hardly contain his rage. All men and women are born innocent, Mrs. Fishburne. But there can be a monster within any of us. Do you think he can be cured, Doctor? Do you think something can extinguish this rage inside my Seymour? There is no cure for murder, Mrs. Fishburne. Only justice. There ain't no hope, then. Somehow, somewhere, my son has turned into a monster, and nothing will bring him back. All right. Goodbye. Well, let's go see if we can hang these posters for old Ichabod. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I explored, I believe, the entirety of um, the docks area. And uh, I found a letter uh, from the Guard of Pruin about Ichabod, saying that he was a fraud, uh, he's not actually a vampire hunter or whatever, and that he should be used as bait for vampires. So I'm going to go talk about that hint to him. Because remember, when we brought up the Guard of Pruin, he said they were a bunch of, uh... Actually, I don't remember what he said about him. He wasn't a fan of the Guard of Pruin. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed! Can I... I'm looking for Sean Hampton. The sad saint? Really? It's nothing personal. There we go. You've never faced, let alone killed a vampire. He told us that. You're a fraud. Did he? No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. Oh. You have courage, Mr. Throckmorton. Sam keeps cutting out. Perhaps that is all one requires to face the demons. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You'll see. One day I'll find and kill one of these monstrosities with my own two hands. Hint failed. Alright, well that sucks. Goodbye. Keeps happening to me. I guess I have to be a little bit smarter about what I say to these people. Is this not the first time that's happened? Also, I understand why the sound keeps cutting out. It's weird. I did it with Stella briefly, but I ignored it, and now it seems to be getting worse. Well, let's go hang up these posters, and uh, then we'll finish up his quests. I'll probably do a stream of uh, a replay of this game and get all of the hints.
hints and everything. Would it be faster to go this way? I think that it would be. Because there should be a gate over here to my right, yeah. Alright. Hold on. There you go. Get in here, hang up these posters. I've been in here before. This is where all those murders happen. Okay. Informing London's inhabitants of the presence of vampires. What does that make me? A double or a triple agent? Well, at least he's having fun with it. I think Jonathan needs to smile every now and then. He's had a pretty depressing game so far. Done. Mr. Throgmorton should be happy. Yeah, let's go back and talk to him real quick, and then, uh... And then what? That'd be easier if I just go back this way. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. So fast. I think I'll definitely do a stream of uh, the other playthroughs of the game. I'll do one where I try to get all the hints. Maybe one where I kill everybody. One where I don't kill anybody, because I screwed that up this playthrough. Good evening. Dr. Ree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put up your public service announcement. <laughs> Consider the common folk warned about the vampiric presence. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You may not realize it, but... You saved a great many lives today. Do you really think they could be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Like Batman. Tell me, Ichabod, why do you consider yourself the protector of Sean Hampton Shelter? He is a... Truly inspiring yeah. I don't know why example. Out. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. Goodbye. Yeah, I like this uh, audio cut now. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again tomorrow. I'm not going to try and restart it today. That's not too bad. Uh, let's do her stuff. I have to come up with the grave diggers. And that is in Southwark, right? Yeah. And that's where I started my, uh, my adventure. I was in Southwark. A boy who talks to rats, that's fun. I talk to animals as well. Um, let's go this way. That's the bridge I have to go into. I can feed it. Grab a quick snack on the road. I don't know why I pulled out my sword there. And hit X. So much fun. I love the teleporting. Ooh.
Sorry, it's not teleporting. It's just moving faster than the human eye can comprehend. Alright. Well, there's some enemies afoot. Look lively! It's on to us! I couldn't dodge an enemy stamina. I didn't explore this my first time through, or maybe I did and it respawned. It seems like some of this stuff has respawned since, uh... It's locked. That's locked. That's a little odd. I don't see anybody near here. I guess those guys. It's locked, all right. One find you. Hey, unlock the door. All right, this is the first area that I stayed in, isn't it? Can I unlock it as a hideout again? Oh, she's gone. Remember, because I found the body here, she had the weird teeth, and I went upstairs, and the guy was like, oh, she's been acting weird, she's at the door. And I had to run out this way when they were, the uh, guard of pro were at the door. Go up top and see if it unlocks the hideout. Nope, can't sleep in it. And that guy's still here. But this woman's body is gone. Hm. Actually, probably better if I went this way. I feel like there'd probably be loot to be found. Oh, there's a hideout. There we go. Let's be a little bit more thorough. Look for any, like, hints or anything laying around. Notes. Ooh, six shillings. Ooh. It's oh. locked, all right. This is where I was earlier. Never mind. This one's mine. Hey, back off. You'll pay for this ugly Oh. That way, let's uh. Go this way. Come up with the gravekeepers, which I'm not really sure what that means. Ooh, some shillings. It's laying on the ground. Alright, yeah, I went through here the first time too. This place. Rain may have washed away the blood, but not the memory. My poor Mary.
Well, I can't be uh, judgmental of grave robbing now since this is just stole from the dead. Several times. Even the living. But is it worse to steal from the dead or the living? You say it's disrespectful to steal from the dead, but they can't judge you. Can I go down there? Nope. It's just a uh, poster. This is. Oh. Okay, so it seems like Booth Digby is afraid of uh, ghosts. Watch. Damn grave robbers. Oh, I got my watch back. Why would I hide the truth? I got a hint for Booth Digby, so let's run back and deal with that, I guess. Dash, 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 dash. So fast. I wish there was a faster way across this uh, river, though. Yeah, I see that Motor Merchant Services truck everywhere. I wonder if the Guard of Perwin used that as, like, a uh, means of moving about without drawing, you know, suspicion to themselves. Yeah, it seems a little bit faster than running. I might be wrong, but it's more fun. So why do I keep pulling my sword out right here? There's no enemy here. So I don't think that there is. This way locked. Nope. Alright, let's go talk to Edwina Cox. Ooh, what up, Brett? She's got no idea who she's. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in monsters, Edwina. It makes him look weak in front of the boys, that's my feeling about it. But ghosts don't scare me. You don't believe he really saw something then? I don't care what he saw or not. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. Okay. I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was... Not pleasant. Spare me the details, Dr. Reed. All I want to know is what happened to those bastards who owed me money. I'm afraid those bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead? Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. It looks like you deserve your reward after all. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. Ooh, 50 shillings. As long as you have them. Oh, good trigger part. Yeah, I'm gonna buy those up. So I can upgrade my shotgun now. Or the uh, pistol even. You again. I know you believe monsters are real, Booth. They are. I know, I saw one, but no one believes me. Tell me what you saw. It was a few years ago. Clay Cox was still the boss then. He'd sent me to the shipyard to find out who was stealing tools and ropes at night. Go on. 
First, I thought it was an old lady with a limp. It looked frail and crooked. Then I saw it grab a bloody beam and lift it like it was a stick. I shouted. It looked straight at me. Do you know what it was? It was all eyes and long teeth, but I, I, could, I couldn't see its face. I shot at it when it moved towards me and I hit it. And then it jumped and vanished in the shadows. You could have imagined all that. These docks can be so gloomy at night. With the fog and the wind and the boats creaking. No, Doctor. That night I saw the fucking sewer dog for real. It's not a beast like the stories say. It's the ghost of an old woman. Bullets can't stop it. But no one believes me. Are your friends mocking you? Even if Wiener told me once to never speak about it. But I know what I saw. And it wasn't a human. Not human at all. Okay, well. Goodbye. Got a lot of experience. I'm thinking about resting. Level up some before I deal with Sean Hampton. Uh, where is that darn... Hide out at. Oh, it's up here. There we go. I'm gonna go see if I can upgrade my, uh, my gun. I might do the shotgun since it does a crap ton of damage. It might be it be better. Eh. I'm not a sentimental type. Oh, it's ready to be upgraded anyway. Uh, firepower, I think, yeah. You're definitely firepower. Now I should upgrade this, though. More firepower. Incendiary damage. Or chemical damage. I have four good trigger parts. I can only upgrade one of the guns. Uh, the Milton's shotgun or the Barker. The Barker, I think, would make more utility. So I've reloaded, or uh, done the reload speed. And I think I'm going to do incendiary damage on it. Uh, because I think it'll be better. Because I think it'll stop them from healing as well. But I think I'm going to do the shotgun for now, because it's just so strong. And I'm gonna do firepower, just straight firepower on this bad boy. Look at the damage on this. Look at that, that's insane. Oh, six good trigger parts, all right. And more firepower, it's gonna be a monster of a gun. Look at that, look at that damage, ugh. Oh. I don't know where to get good handle parts at. But anyway, I think we're gonna call it here, and in the next episode we might pursue more side quests. I have two more to do, that and that. Probably do that one. Not sure where it's located. Oh, it's right there. Pretty easy. Anyway, uh, we're going to call it here, and in the next episode, we'll continue questing. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you there.